Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. And it's an eBay unboxing. And all right. So let's see what we got here. And I always ask my sellers nicely and politely to please pack these fragile or fragile things very, very carefully. And so far, so good. Okay. And these are actually prettier than I thought they were going to be. All right, let's check them out. All right, so I got this one. And uh, this is really, really beautiful. Now, you usually don't see them in this color. Check out the color of this pearl. And I believe this is called, um, actually, let me turn my light over here. There we go. I believe this is called Black Lip Pearl. And uh, it's like a darker shade of Mother of Pearl than normal. So look at that. And uh, the cool part, look at that. That is just, these are in great condition. And uh, again, the workmanship is outrageous on these. These uh, were made by, wait, you're going to die laughing. La Corona. In, I think in Italian or French, that might mean the Corona. Uh, it really meant crown. But uh, I got coronavirus glasses. And uh, let me just show you how this works. So you pull the little arm out. There you go. And if you were one of those fancy ladies in the late 1800s, you could actually hold this up to your face. And uh, there you go. And then when you were done, you could just close this like this and fold this over the top. And there you go. You can put this away in your purse. Or, well, back then women really didn't have pockets. Um, and a lot of times they came with these little pouches that you can store them in, or even little pocketbooks or purses. So these are absolutely gorgeous. I scored these for, I think, 35 or $40. Don't know how I got that lucky because these, uh, especially like these ones with the long yet handle, don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. But um, I think in French, long yet means to look. Or to look around but these uh handled ones um, are more expensive than the ones without handles and here's another example now um what's really cool about these opera glasses is they didn't just come in one style they came in many different kinds of styles this is um actually some kind of i'm gonna pronounce it wrong guillotine and it's like an enamel and you can see little red um, little actually gold gilded stars were painted on we have a mother of pearl wheel in the center and mother of pearl uh, little caps on the top. Really, really awesome how well these are made. Look how tiny, though, these are compared to uh, some of the other ones here. Now, again, we have another kind of mother of pearl ones here. And uh, these are a white mother of pearl as opposed to our black lip pearl on the left. And you can see a big difference in color. And uh, here we go. Here's uh, one with the handle really awesome and uh then i have another kind of pearl or shell which is called i'm gonna get this one wrong too abalone or abalone shell and uh look at the iridescence of that that is absolutely outrageous and uh these were really really expensive during the time they were made so you can see the difference between regular mother of pearl which is white the uh, uh black lip mother of pearl the abalone or abalone, and then ivory colored mother of pearl. <laughs> really, really pretty. Um, it's just amazing how many different kinds of opera glasses you can find in your hunt for opera glasses if you collect them. Here's another pair. This is uh, gilded, and this is actually gold filled. So this is gold filled mother of pearl opera glasses because you can see the top says the mother of pearl. And uh, yeah, so they came in all different designs all different shapes, all different sizes, and uh, collecting them is a lot of fun. So I hope you enjoyed this. Now, most of these were probably made anywhere between the 1850s to about 1910 or so. Um, it's very hard to pin down an actual date on these um, because they were made for so many decades in the same you know, style and design. But these were very expensive um, when they were made, especially during the uh, late 19th century. It could uh, cost a lady... Um, anywhere between $200 to $500 for a pair of opera glasses. And the problem was, was back then, um, 
they didn't have entertainment, of course, like we do today. So the opera was a big deal or going to the theater was a big deal. So that was their only like real source of entertainment, if you think about it. So ladies were slave to fashions. And if they didn't have the prettiest um, opera glasses, you know, to show off, they were sort of, you know, looked down upon by the uh, upper echelon of uh, theater goers. So if you didn't have a fancy pair and you had a more middle class or a less expensive pair of opera glasses, you were considered sort of, you know, you were looked down upon. So there we go. So I hope you enjoy another one of my eBay unboxings. And these are just absolutely amazing. The condition is like perfect. I mean, very, very little wear. Um, it's amazing to find them in this condition and they're named La Corona of all things. Um, <laughs> it's, it's actually funny. They're my <clears throat> coronavirus opera glasses. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I will see you guys all soon with the next eBay unboxing.